Hello, Capel English here with Plinker Systems. We're in the studio today and we're going to be taking a look at the target controller software that controls the dual pneumatic movers. This is going to be a series of videos that walks you through how to use the software. So we'll talk about configuration, setting up the software and identifying the targets, target systems. We'll talk about the timelines and the different methods of activation, automatic, manual, remote, that sort of thing. So, um, we'll, and we'll talk about the, uh, the remote uh, activators themselves in, in separate videos. So, uh, stay tuned. We hope you enjoy the series and, uh, and we'll get started now. So, if we cut over to, to the software, you can see that I've launched the software and if we go into the administration tab, there are, no, there are no targets. And so we have to make sure that the targets are, are powered up. Okay, so there's a battery in each one of the control boxes and you just plug it in, the little red light comes on, which indicates that the target is powered up. So once we've powered them up, if we go back over here to the software, then I can click the discover button. Okay, and notice how when I mouse over, these buttons, we get a tool tip that tells you more about what that button does. So this is going to discover the targets that are in range. So if I click discover, then the software is going to go out there and try to find all the targets that are currently powered up. And so notice that there are, we found three targets. Now, if we switch over to this other camera, we can see the target system sitting on the table. So there are three target systems. and But at this point, uh, without looking at the, um, the address that's located on each control box, we don't really know which one is which. But that's not a big deal. We can figure that out pretty quickly. Now, let's also look at the, the Setup Activators tab. So notice that <coughs> we, don't, we didn't find any activators, and if I click Discover, it probably won't find any because we don't have them powered up. So we'll talk about them in just a minute. It didn't find anything. But so what we want to do is we want to go to the communications tab. And so now we have we've identified that there are three target systems within range. And so we can click the test communications button here in the software. And it will go out and ping these targets and come back and bring us a link quality measurement. And so if you notice that the, of the three targets, uh, two of them were 80% and one of them was 21%. And we're in a, in a small space here. The uh, laptop computer is very close to the target systems and this radio uh, communications really likes to be a little bit further away than that. The fact that one of the uh, indicators is red and says it's a poor quality link does not mean that it won't work. It just means that there's, it's not a really great signal, but it should still work fine as long as it can see it. And if we click test communications a second time, then we'll see this time around it got a good communications for all three of them. So uh, radio frequency is a little weird in that, in that way, but um, don't worry about it. Uh, as long as you can see the targets and you know they're powered up, then everything should work fine. Also on this screen, if we look, we've got a couple of other buttons here. We've got the Reboot Targets button. And so <clears throat> what this does is the laptop or your tablet or whatever will send a signal out through the, radio, the USB radio dongle and, and do a, a warm boot, if you will, of all the target systems. And so it, you may, if something gets hung up, that you may need to do that. Generally, you won't need to do that, but it's there in case you do. A couple of other things. Um, there is a, a logging button, so we can turn on logging. And then when we drop down, we've got a couple of different logs that we can look at. We're not going to go through that in this video. And generally, you want to leave that off because it writes a lot of messages to the hard drive, slows everything down. So unless... Uh, our tech support team uh, asks you to turn on logging, you should always leave that off. Now, there's also um, a channel uh, out here, and we'll probably do another video on updating channels, but if you have multiple uh, 
target systems in different bays, say on the range, and you'd have multiple computers running those, the target systems need to be on different channels. But again, we'll talk about that in a separate video. So let's go back now to, um, to the targets and the Setup Targets tab. On the Setup Targets tab, we can change the name of these targets. And so by simply typing in, let's say target, <coughs> we don't know which ones they are yet, but let's just say, well, I'll call it 1A, we'll do an update, then target 2A, click the update button, and then target 3A, and click the update button. There's no need to, um, to change the MAC address. In fact, you don't want to do that. Uh, the MAC address is located on the top of each control box, so you can identify which targets they are. But the point here is that you can give each target a unique name based on the scenario that you're creating. The, the uh, basic example is what we're doing here, targets one, two, and three. But if you had these targets, say, set up in a shoot house, you may want to name one target um, hallway, another couch, one bedroom. So you can name them anything. Or if you're uh, doing a, an outdoor sort of scenario, you, maybe you want to say you know, sidewalk, mailbox, car. You can give them different names that, that mean something uh, to you for that particular scenario. You can also add targets manually. Uh, there's no real need to do that with the Discover button. As long as the target system is powered up, you should be able to discover it. So, so, that is, um, so that's it for the Administration tab. Um, it's pretty simple. What we're going to do now is we're going to switch over and look at some uh, manual activations uh, so we can identify which targets are which. So um, we'll do that in the next clip, so stay tuned and uh, we'll be right back. Now, we need you to help us out. Please like, please share, and please subscribe. If you've got questions, leave them in the comments area below. We'll be happy to answer them. If you've got ideas for videos you'd like us to do, then do that as well. Give us a shout. We'll see if we can't make that happen. Thanks for watching.